Hi, my name is Rula and I work for the West Essex YMCA. During the school year, I'm an aftercare assistant site supervisor and during the summer, I'm a theater specialist at Super Summer Camp. Today, I'm gonna be showing you what your imagination and just a few household items can really turn into. So let's get started. One of the first shows I did as a theater specialist was The Lion King Jr. And one of the problems we had was how are we gonna dress up all these kids to be all of these different kinds of animals? Um, so collectively, we came up with the idea that the kids would make their own masks and they absolutely loved it. And the way we did it is the same way I'm gonna show you today with these really, really standard basic items. So you can have a regular paper plate. I have some um, leftover plates from last Thanksgiving. And what you're gonna do on the back is you're just gonna draw out um, a few, you know, designs. I decided to make mine look like a flower child. Um, and you're just gonna make a place for the eyes, the mouth, and the nose, and then we're gonna go through and we're gonna cut that. Okay, so now we have the holes of our mask cut out. And the next step is how are we gonna get it to stick on our heads? And the way that you can do that is really up to you. Um, I have a few different examples. I have lanyard here. If you don't have lanyard, that's fine. You can use a shoelace and the shoelace will not get damaged or destroyed at all. Um, and yeah, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make a hole on either side of your mask and stick the string or stick the shoelace in. And I'll show you how to do that in one second. Okay, so now we have our shoelace tied in and you're gonna do just as you'd expect. You're gonna slide it over your face and there you go, there's mask number one. Now, the fun part about making your own masks is that it doesn't have to be like this. You can also make it look like this. One that doesn't cover the whole face, but instead just covers your eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out and do the same thing I did with that mask and show you. Okay, so now that we're finished cutting that out, this is how the other mask will look and you can do the same thing that you did with the other one and you can put a hole on either side and run a shoelace or a string through it so that you'll be able to wear it. The next thing that we're gonna be making is a guitar, but this is not like any guitar you've ever seen before because we're gonna be making it with a tissue box or you can substitute it with an empty shoe box and a roll from toilet paper or if you want a longer stem, you can also use um, a roll from a paper towel. So what you're gonna do is either on this side or this side of your box, you are going to be making and tracing a circle that fits what your stem will be or the paper towel roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll show you guys after. Okay, so I went ahead and finished the guitar and I'm gonna explain now what I did. So for this project, I did use the lanyard, but once again, you can go back and still use multiple shoelaces. I put four strings and what I did is I connected the four strings at the top here with just a simple piece of tape and I brought it all the way down to the bottom of my guitar. Um, so I don't know if you can see what that is inside the tape, but that's just a regular pen cap and I covered it with tape so that it could at least lift the strings a little bit. And like I said before, I know mine is not designed, but you can design yours however you want. Okay, so this is where the real fun gets in. Now you have masks, you have a guitar, what are you gonna do with it? And that's completely up to you. You can put on a show, you can play music, and you can pretend that you and your children are the lead singer or the orchestra. You can use a huge white bed sheet, and that can be your backdrop, or you can go inside of your kitchen and you can get a wooden spoon and a tin bowl which to me looks more like a drum set. 
And that is the best part of imagination. I know things are weird right now, but stay safe and hang in there and soon everything will get much better. I hope you all have fun.